By the way, these people displays the WoW Classic player base. Basically, I'm one of these guys. You guys were right, I'm a grandpa, apparently. Even this guy is saying it. Is Modern Classic the same as Classic was back in 2019? When Classic WoW well launched, it changed the gaming landscape in a way that probably won't be changed again until GTA 6. Yet Classic WoW well started a divide in the player base, retail versus Classic, and an, as of this moment, almost six year long argument on which version of the game is better. That question is subjective, but the bigger question of the recent years has become what is classic? True. Everyone draws that line separately. Some people draw in a more harsh line and others are more fluid. When I interviewed the developers of the classic dev team recently, they said that the definition of classic is fluid and everyone has a separate endpoint in what that is. And the community and forums agree. But that leads us to the biggest problem of all, modern classic and what it is. At its launch, Classic WoW was meant to be a nostalgic and iconic retelling of a story that started back in- That's what I'm saying. Classic is a nostalgia act, and there's gonna be nothing more about it. But maybe this guy is gonna say something else. 2004, and of a version of the game very few people played and got to actually experience. It essentially doubled the sub numbers of WoW, showing the then Blizzard that they were wrong. You think you do, but you don't is a meme that's been beaten to death, but it still holds true. Millions of people flocked back to play Classic WoW, and it was amazing how things progressed from there. The okay. stories, the memories, a large number of. The fact that it's nostalgia act doesn't mean that people are not gonna play it. In fact, I'm playing it because of the, the nostalgia. I made a guild so I can relieve my past memories and create new ones. For some people, it's a new game. For a lot of people, it's a new game. For a lot of people in my comments, it's a new game. I agree. But the fact that the old players like me are in is making it playable for you. Because if the majority is not people like me, the game would be empty and you wouldn't play it. We can kind of agree on that, right? You're not enough to keep a population of the classic. By the way, these people displays the WoW classic player base. Basically, I'm one of these guys. You guys were right, I'm a grandpa, apparently. Even this guy is saying it. Boomers who relapsed after quitting back in OG Cataclysm, and by the end of Classic, when Nax was on farm, GDK piece was spread across the board, we opened a portal to step into Outland once again. And TBC, despite being one of the better expansions, was full of whining with people loudly saying, I can't wait for this to end to play Wrath of the Lich King, or TBC <laughs> is mid, and other terrible takes. And don't get me wrong. Dude, I kind of want to to play TBC. That's why yesterday when I played Ascension, I realized Ascension is on TBC. I kind of want to do actual dungeons that are keys that are the TBC dungeons because I never had the chance to actually play TBC. Maybe it sucks, maybe it's good, I don't know, but it's gonna be different from the Blizzard experience anyway. Wrong. People enjoyed the shit out of TBC Classic, but people wanted to rush through to Wrath of the Lich King. And then it happened. We got to Wrath Classic, which was hype beyond measure, and everyone and their mother came back to try it. But this time around, Naxxramas, despite being a recent raid, wasn't as fun, because far too many people remembered clearing Naxxramas just under two years ago. And as Wrath of the Lich King went on, the player base kept dropping. Ulduar and then ICC chipping away at it. Then Season of Discovery happened and that chipped away even further at the player numbers. Despite yeah. Wrath of the Lich King supposedly being the crown jewel of the OG Classic Trilogy, by the end of Wrath of the Lich King Classic it was down to a fraction of the player base. Bro kind of normal, don't you agree? Because you know, you know people have played enough Lich King was out already for three months, probably three, four, five months. People knew that the next thing is Cataclysm. No one was really hyped about Cataclysm except players who have never experienced Cataclysm or players who had good memories in Cataclysm that I feel like, again, it's a majority, um, minority in comparison to the people that didn't like Cataclysm and are not hyped about Cataclysm. From Naxxramas' peak of 630,000 active raiders, all the way down to 80k. A drop-off was expected, being the end of the expansion, but nobody expected a drop-off as severe as this. Okay, that's a lie. Every nobody expected. Dude, dude is talking like we are all expecting 
numbers to drop and we are all following the numbers of players that are playing wow like chill man there are people in blizzard that are following these numbers but there are not that many people that are following that number it's, it, probably it's like a team or something we never expected are you a part of that team the one did people specifically said that if Uldua and icc lasted this long people would quit and then blizzard let it last that long so people quit which then brings us to where we are right now just after the launch of cataclysm classic which has garnered a supposedly large population but for how long because what is classic or in this case what is modern classic meant to be some people have started to call it classic progression a version of the game where people get to live through all the expansions all over again, allowing them to experience what the games were like or at least something similar to the original launch experience. Cataclysm not so much because where did the pre-patch go? I could have swore that there was a pre-patch. Anywho, I'm not here to debate whether or not Cataclysm is quotation marks classic because that's a personal discussion. This video is solely about the fact of modern classic and what its long-term goals are and how will the player base react to it. Because if the sole goal is to be a continual re-release, aka classic progression, are we all prepared for Shadowlands classic in 10 years, especially with the accelerated phases? And is this what the player base wants? I know certain people want certain expansions for example i would play shadowlands classic not gonna lie i didn't have the opportunity to, opportunity to live through it then and I, I think i'm gonna like it no matter what i don't know i'm really curious for legion and i won't deny that certain elements of certain expansions are amazing but is this a sustainable game model for classic as a whole and is modern classic even meant to be a high investment game mode or is it meant to be a game mode that's available so that people have access to another version of the game to play alongside retail wow alongside seasonal wow like thunderstorm and wow remix and then the classic era and its myriad upcoming seasons because to me modern classic seems like a new way of gaming it's it's a way to play classic where everyone gets to play classic the way they want to play classic. And with Blizzard and Microsoft's new goal being as many players with as many game modes as possible, it's honestly not a bad strategy at all. Because a lot of people quit during OG Cataclysm, and it was touted as being the expansion that started the fall of WoW. But so far, it's not that bad. It's a fun game, it's a decent expansion. I'm sure it'll do well. Most hated expansion for me? I don't have a most hated expansion personally. I like them all. I'm I'm a fan of the game. I don't know why. I, I don't have hate anything in particular. But I think Shadowlands is uh, the most hated expansion across. I don't have anything negative about Shadowlands because I have played it for like a month and I liked what I saw. But I didn't have time to play it. I was in a different part of my life where I didn't have time to do this. I'm not gonna like. I think Warlords of Draenor is more hated, hated universally. Yeah, but then Shadowlands appeared. I think I, I was thinking like that as well. And then I saw one Nixium video that he was saying, uh, "What kind of person are you?" Depending on the expansion you like, Shadowlands end was bad. I, I remember that now. Shadowlands end was bad. But I really like the idea that Sylvanas just fucked up Little Lich King, went into that other world. The ending was just bad. The ending that but I was never a Lord geek a lore geek, you know? Part of, that I like about Warlords was the garrison i really enjoyed that and i especially enjoyed it when in the end of the expansion i realized how fun is actually that garrison towards dragonflight i feel like i'm most neutral than any other expansion ever even though i played it more than shadowlands i have played it more than mists of pandaria i have played it more than Draenor. Dragonflight was the expansion that I'm most neutral at too, you know? It's just the cinematic for Dragonflight just came out of nowhere. It meant absolutely nothing. And when the game came out, it meant absolutely nothing. And when you start playing the game, it just... Everything just felt so disconnected to what everything else we have so far. It, it, it was just like, you're playing a different game. You're playing WoW, you, you know very well that you're playing WoW, but you're like, what the f is this story? What, where the f am I? And why am I here? Why am I... You, because you're always looking at these new characters that you're not fam that familiar with, and you're dealing with some sort of a problem that Again, you're dealing with some world problem, but 
It just felt weird. I have a huge hope in the world, so Saga. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like the World Soul Saga will connect a lot of dots and will give us closure. I just hope about that. Uh, actually, I remember an expansion that I'm also super neutral towards. And that's Battle for Azeroth. Like, I don't even remember what was happening in Battle for Azeroth. Do you know what was shitty about Battle for Azeroth? You, really, you realize that the Blizzard team doesn't have any idea what they're doing. The previous expansion was Legion, and everyone knew that in case of emergency, you press the Illidan button and you get a good expansion, so they got Legion. And now what? In case of emergency, just make Alliance versus Horde expansion, even though every second expansion we should be together to fight the common enemy, but every second expansion we also should fight against each other. Disconnected, kind of. For my friends personally, Miss Fondario was the world PvP expansion. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Say it, brother. Blizzard should stop listening to the community and just make the game fun. I agree with that. Well, and keep a healthy player base at least for some time. Heck, Mr. Pandaria class. I kind of forgot what the video is about. The expansion that's not confirmed, but is essentially confirmed, will almost definitely have more players than Cataclysm Classic. I'm sure there's a portion of the player base that's just waiting for Mop Classic at the moment. And Mop True. will definitely be fun, as its PvP is considered to be the best, if not one of the best versions of PvP exactly. in WoW. So Blizzard continuing to release- See? It's widely known that Mob PvP was the best PvP. And that's why a lot of people are actually hype about Mob. All of these expansions back to back fills in a niche and gap that Retail and Classic itself was lacking. A new experience and a way to get Classic player base as a whole to interact with the Retail ecosystem. Especially as Retail WoW continues to become a better game, more and more people will be interested in trying it out. And this isn't some grand conspiracy. Blizzard isn't making modern Classic so you eventually quit and play Retail. They're making it so they have more MA use. If by chance you dive into the retail ecosystem, that's just a double whammy. It keeps you invested into the World of Warcraft ecosystem. Boredom is a thing of the past when you can just jump. Thank you for explaining that to me, sir. This guy now realized that the Blizzard, I think this guy even made the made a video about it already, that Blizzard have all these versions of the game so they can have every player possible hooked and potentially even double the potential of every player because he's already in the ecosystem Bump back and forth for one singular subscription and retail and classic are becoming closer and closer cataclysm classic and each new expansion afterwards in the classic progression system will keep getting closer to retail and season of discovery is as much as some people are loath to admit it retail light very light and more classic than retail but it's still a touch of retail at the same time though blizzard seems to have realized that you cannot satisfy every player base even if the player base shoves themselves into a game I'm gonna tell you how to satisfy every player base. I have said it multiple times. Open one realm, one server, whatever you want to call it, for each expansion, and let that stay forever. Make one of the realms reset every six months, and the other realm just stay at the latest expansion, uh, at the latest patch. Nothing more, guys. And you're gonna hook every possible World of Warcraft player ever you're gonna have your retail players you're gonna have vanilla players you're gonna have your tvc players you're gonna have your rat players cataclysm mob every single expansion brother but nah that's too hard you basically are gonna kill the private servers that way game mode not designed for them and then complained for example we have season of discovery cataclysm classic classic era and hardcore four similar game modes but different player bases for the most part all of that is classic yet every classic player plays the game differently and tying to that very same notion does the player base even know what it wants because one of the most popular no. things you can say i'm gonna say it for you no are you listening to me no is ban gdkps it's bad for the game but at the very same time the most popular game mode is gdkps and it's easy to make it make sense people no longer play slowly so everything has to have some value to them it's very similar to how chinese players play even if i don't win any loot i get a gold out of this and that's at least worth my time now i'm not going to deep dive that today because the gdkp question is a video all in of itself but a Dude, I'm not a GDKP player because I don't like spending gold. I hate GDKP because they're making me give my gold. I'm not gonna give my gold for anything. 
My gold is sacred. What am I going to use my gold for? It's none of your business. I'm not going to say I'm not going to use it probably for anything, but it's none of your business. It's my gold. I'm like uh, Uncle Scrooge from, I don't know, the tale that he's just saving gold. I I'm that kind of a player. It shows that the very concept of classic and what it was back in the day in the version we have today is drastically different. Vanilla players when compared to classic players when compared to modern classic players are essentially three different groups of people. The disparity between how each group of player played classic has changed and rather rapidly. I love this guy. How can you not love this guy? He talks so much that he's able to do a nine minute video saying almost nothing. It's fascinating how these people are built this way. If I make a video like that, I'm not gonna be able to feel more than three minutes, which is actually happening. Get that. And thus, we have where we are right now, a divided player base, which is honestly the only good solution that Blizzard has been able to come up with. Instead of catering to one group of people, they are creating so many different ways to play that everyone has a way to play the game that they want to play. Some retail players will play classic, enjoy it, and then try one of the many classic game modes and vice versa. A classic player will try WoW Remix or Plunderstorm and realize Realize, hey, I actually like this and then try out retail because Blizzard has realized that in this modern day guys Am I talking like that? Am I talking like that? That's fascinating. He's he just spins the same thing and he talks so about it over and over again. An age where every game is a live service with a battle pass, microtransactions and more. Everyone is competing for your 20 to 30 dollars a month. So most people are locked to one ecosystem till they get burnt out and jump to another game. And thus, modern classic where you don't get burnt out. You get sick of one game mode so you just jump to another and play that. Because even when they make classic plus, and they will eventually, whether or not you and I consider this eventual game mode to be classic plus is a relevant it'll get made and it'll just be another game mode however big that is that locks you further and further into the world of warcraft ecosystem because microsoft's mbas could not give a singular shit if you play retail hardcore classic or what else they're looking at maus and they're repeating game pass or the blizzard why would you play a different service if everything you're looking for is on one singular subscription so this is not just modern classic but it's a modern world of warcraft and honestly it's a pretty good goddamn bright future as a World of Warcraft player. I know some classic players might hate this idea in future because in their mind their favorite version of the game isn't getting the time or attention they think it deserves, but for World of Warcraft's long-term health and survival, I think Blizzard has made a very smart choice. I'm actually happy about the state of World of Warcraft, exactly what uh, it, what is he saying basically. I am happy that there are a lot of players right now, a lot of players in every game mode because there's so many game modes and people want to try this and that and people are hopping it from retail to classic to classic to retail you know that kind of stuff and I, i'm happy i'm happy about that if you like this video subscribe if you hate it every second of it subscribe and hate my next video check out my twitch i use a whiteboard and go on massive conspiracy theories thank you eben hard out maybe i'm gonna check his twitch one day it's not gonna be today great strategy for the company not for, not the players there is another competent guy in the comments great strategy the company not for the players he is a representative of the players everyone